Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make these giant paper flowers. The template that I've provided in the link below will make a medium sized flower which is about 12 inches di in diameter. Um, you can use these to decorate your room or maybe for a party. If you want to make a full wall of flowers, you can use that as a backdrop at an event. For supplies, you'll need 9 sheets of US letter paper, which is 8.5 by 11, which is a regular copy size paper. For this, I've used um, a 60 pound weight cardstock, but you can use any type of paper that you want. I find that it's better to use a heavier paper. You'll also need some scissors and a glue gun. First, take your paper, fold it in half, and cut it. Then you should end up with 18 half sheets. You'll use six of the half sheets for the largest petal, six half sheets for the medium sized petal, three half sheets for the smallest petal, and three half sheets for the center of the flower. Starting with the largest petal template, take six sheets, stack them on top of each other, trace the template, and cut the petal out. You should end up with six large petals. At the base of the petal, cut a slit about 2 inches in. It should create two flaps. You're going to glue one flap on top of the other so that they overlap. The reason you are going to do this is so that the petal sits at an angle. For the outer petals, you don't want it to angle as much so you don't over, overlap the flaps too much. But as you move towards the center, the petal should stand up straighter so you'll want to overlap the flaps more so the petals stand up. Take all your petals and with the widest part at the bottom, roll the petal away from you to create a curl. You can use a pencil to do this, but I like to just use my hand. Use your glue gun, add a little glue to one flap, and glue the other flap on top of it. Remember for your outer petals, you don't want to overlap them too much. Do this to all six of the large petals. Now begin to glue all of your petals together to form a bowl. Just put glue on one side of the petal and attach the next petal on top and just go all the way around. Once you're done with the first outer layer of the petals, you can set it aside and start working on the medium sized petals. Take six more half sheets and repeat the same steps with the medium petal template.
Now that you have two layers, add some glue at the bottom of the medium template bowl and attach it into the large outer layer. For the smallest petal template, take three of your half sheets, fold it in half, and cut it in half again. Repeat all the steps that you did for the large and medium template. Add some glue to the bottom of the smallest petal layer and attach it inside the medium layer. To make the center of the flowers, take the last three sheets of half sheets, fold it in half, and cut a fringe, making sure to cut from the side that's folded. Be sure not to cut all the way through, leave about half an inch left. Separate the three sheets, and then you're going to start rolling the center up. Add a little bit of glue on the way so that it stays in place. Once you're done rolling up all three sheets, you can use your hands to fluff up the center. Using a scrap piece of paper, cut out a square or rectangle or a circle, whatever you want. Flip your flower over and glue it to the bottom of your flower to act as a base. Now you can add some glue to the bottom of your flower center and attach the center. And now you're done. I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for my next tutorial.